This is Death House on Reaper One Skull. So I've decided uh, just to move forward with One Skull. Uh, I think we did really well in Two Skull, and we can continue to probably do well in Two Skull, but there's a few factors. We didn't have any Plague Reapers at all, those first two quests, and that's sort of a random thing. We had a lot of them last level, they were really tough. Uh, most of our deaths were because of Plague Reapers. Um, secondly, we've already seen Tempest uh, die a few times, so, you know, he's he's uh, he's a little squishier, and um, I'm going to give him, you know, fire and cold, but, and acid, uh, but uh, he just, there's a certain thing to just eat him up, and so, um, you know, the, the amount of extra Reaper ex experience we're going to get isn't going to be that much, so we're going to stick with Reaper 1. Uh, in future lives, we'll go, you know, probably two, three, four, or whatever, but for right now, we're going to just focus on uh, running this on Reaper, getting used to this difficulty level, getting a little bit of Reaper XP, you know, keep making progress, as opposed to, um, you know, we're not, we're not sort of, oops, i got to get my lock item. We don't, we don't want to linger on this floor too much, because there's some animated armors that uh, spawn and can wander up here. You spot something in the middle of the room. Something small and old and forgotten. We're tired. They've been here so long. They want to rest. All right, so we got the claws. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave. So these are tough enemies, but because they're evil, we've got a pretty good, pretty good attack against them. This holy retribution just keeps them alive. So. Beyond the secret door, you could also just run down the stairs. Down into darkness. All right, we got a champion. We just need to be light bear, even. All right, so this is a couple of champions. Wow. All right, well, let's just keep moving. Take down. Yeah, so I think, you know, last level I'd say we probably, we probably arguably got unlucky with our pulls on Reapers. We got mostly Plague Reapers. Uh, let me switch to my search item. Mostly Plague Reapers, and those Plague Reapers, uh, you know, that's sort of our toughest enemy right now. Um, we we saw a few big hits from Famine Reapers. That's probably our number two enemy. Uh, Carnage Reapers hit us for physical damage. We've got pretty good PRR. So it's a problem, but it's not, you know, end of the world-ish type situation. So, uh, but you know, uh, fear—we just have to deal with them. If they're in a hard-to-get-to place, they could be lethal if we can't get to them. But as long as we can get to them, they're not anything to really worry about. They hit pretty hard, harder than a normal enemy, but um, we've not had too much problems with them so far. All right, back to my normal gear. Spiders. Yeah, these are not evil, so I'm not going to get as much benefit out of my big cleave, but still get us nice weapon damage. Gently place the bones inside the coffins. Much better. The distant voice seems pleased. We can rest here. Once you get rid of the monster in the basement. Yeah, because we're on Reaper mode, I'm going to skip this collectible. So if you uh, get this, up, oh, there's a Fear Reaper. We guess we can't now. Unfortunately, that's what the problem Fear Reapers create. So we're going to have to attack these guys. So we're going to do the big leave. Gets rid of most of them. Carnage! Oh, wow! Two Reapers, at least we're near a shrine. And I got my stun in on this guy. We're just going to have to deal with this guy first, then the fear. Fear by himself is not too bad, so... Yeah, so normally I just don't approach this on Reaper, but... 
because there's a fear reaper there i didn't have a choice he would just stand there doing damage to us for a long time all right so let me give him a quick heal him. Uh, do his best. Seems like a heal. Uh, um, it's sort of a double-edged sword. When I put him on do his best, which is this, I think it's called, used to uh, order your companion to become active. Um, he'll do a better job healing me, usually, but sometimes he gets distracted fighting, like right there. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. I think I'm just going to stick him back to defend. But there's not a heal only mode here. On top of but the overall, I'm pretty happy with what we get. Alright, so we're going to do a big cleave here. Yeah, that's the beauty of that, is instant kill those two orange names. On heroic levels, you can instant kill orange names. On epic levels, you, can, you cannot on elite. On elite. Or Reaper. So, uh, you yeah, know, that's kind of a nice thing about Heroic is we can deal with enemies like that with our with these big, big attacks pretty easily. Not too bad. Not, I think it's worse than what we have, so it's going to get vendored, but. See those ghosts actually hit pretty reasonably hard for what they are. But you know, our insta kill works pretty well against them. Um, Alright, let me get my search item on. Get my sunder item on for that holy retribution proc. I think either of these boxes disables a trap. I don't need to get them both, but I'm just gonna gonna get them both on here. So it might give us a trap bonus. Yeah, it gives us 30% bonus to trap. So, all right, now again, just you know, uh, we want to open with our big holy retribution against evil enemies because we might kill them pretty quickly. Monsters around here someplace. You can smell him. He stinks. And so um, we have a shrine down here. We want to use the shrine properly. It's it's kind of a little further away from the end fight, but we want to make sure that if we get into trouble, that we're we're uh, close enough to that shrine to run to it. We have a 24% speed boost, but when dead, it doesn't work. So let's see. Too many champions here. It's so I didn't leave with it there because I wanted to kind of gather more up to use that big holy retribution. You can just see it's so effective. On to the end fight. So this seemed pretty easy. Maybe you know, maybe Reaper Two was is the way to go. But um, you know, I think if you, it, I think what's going to happen on Reaper Two is you're going to hit some champs and the sound of chanting some uh, Plague Reapers, and you wipe more. So Rude if you're willing to wipe more, by all means, go to R2. Chanting. I'm going to use all my buffs here. Doing damage to him is the key to making things spawn less in these days. Okay, let's get near the shrine. This is pretty rough. Alright, let's. Things are gonna keep spawning, so we wanna. Oh, we gotta get rid of these. Alright, Alright, lights. I'd like him to come out. There you go. These guys are not evil. They're just... They just act like it. And uh, we want to 
want to do damage to him because that's going to keep these needle blades in check. But we got to get rid of these. I don't think they'll keep coming. Once we get through a couple waves of them. Yeah, he's a little... This, this guy's a little tougher. In some ways, this quest is easier. In some ways, harder compared to the last quest. Which, I did them out of order. This one's supposed to be second and... Uh, Fresh Baked Dreams third. All right, so Flight Foot, foot Greaves. All right, I'm very, very happy with this. Um, although, not necessarily much better than what we have, but I mean, Free of a Movement is a pretty nice ability at this level. We've got a Mythic plus one bonus, so I'm happy about that. Natural Armor bonus, that might help us a little bit. I, I'm not quite so sure. Uh, plus one to our Reflex saves. So this is really, really motivating me to want to get it. Um, to, to, to graduate from the Boots of the Mire and, and Ring of the Mire set. It's a little slower, but it also it gives me 7% attack speed, and freedom of movement is huge. So, you know, you can see, while under the influence of magic that impedes movement, such as paralysis, solid fog, slow, and web. So, it, you know, basically that's going to help me a lot. Uh, I've seen that, you know, slow and web I've seen a lot. So, um, I'm almost certainly going to find a way to, to put these to use. So that was a amazing drop. Can't be more happy. I've been pretty lucky with so far on Elite. Alright, I'm going to go back and get the End Reward. Which is just going to be random, you know, random loot stuff, but... I'm not complaining. I've gotten two really good named items so far in three runs. Three quests. Nothing too interesting here. I'm just going to grab something that I could vendor. It's light. And that is Death House. I guess I don't need to retake this again. And that is Death House on Reaper 1 Skull.